Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. We're recording again. <laughs> are we're we? Back. We just had a meltdown. Tom and I are. We're gonna go to San Francisco and find the UStream headquarters. This fucking sucks, man. It just fucking sucks. I know, babe. They have uh, this is just the dumbest thing, where, you know, you pay for the, you pay for their producer pro line. And then they throw ads at everybody. So I go, I don't want to have ads. So I hit the upgrade thing, and it says, this is what an upgrade would look like. Uh, here's a watermark because you haven't purchased it. Well, how do I purchase it then? Oh, I see. Enter your serial, serial number. I enter the serial number. You already made a purchase. You must have a unique serial. Because like, they want you to purchase a different thing. So I know, but then I don't. Look, there's thing. two other upgrades. So right. which one is the one that I need? I don't know. Listeners, one of them's a hundred, and one of them's three fifty. Okay. Which one do I need to get? I don't know. That's what I don't know. We don't know, guys. We're gonna figure it out eventually. Whatever. For now, there's no right. watermark, so we've got the watermark's that. gone. It's just you're gonna have to endure. There's some gonna be ads, ads for now. Fucking however goddamn often there's ads. <laughs> Promise we'll fix it eventually, you guys. Can you? Are you alright, Tommy? Yeah, I'm fine. I'm fine. You can go on. Yes. 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 Do you want a cookie? We're all good. Uh, I have a cookie if nah, you want it. I'm good. I'm good. Let's uh, continue. Eating helps me. Um, my feelings go away. So we already did our uh, our ad stuff, our Amazon and uh. Gamefly stuff. And um, now, oh, yes, live dates. I'm going to be uh, in Louisville this week. The Louisville Improv in Louisville, Kentucky. Do you know who from Lu- who's from Louisville? Top Dog. Top Dog's from Louisville. <laughs> He's from the Ville. The Wipe Down Theater. Some people like to talk about Muhammad Ali being from Louisville, but I actually <laughs> think that Top Dog's a bigger deal. I think so too. I think our listeners agree. Top Dog from the Ville. I'm going to be in his home hometown, um, so I'm excited about that. And let's see, where are you, where are you going to be this Guys, week? Guys, I'm home for two weeks. Thank nice. Jesus Christ. Christ almighty. Um, but at the end of the month, I will be in the uh, Brea Improv. Last week in May. It's like May 30th through June 1st or something like that. Uh, come see me if you're in Brea. Other than that, this mommy is home. Is playing with Blue Band. Mm. I'm just breaking cookies. I got... Um, hanging out, man. I have... Let's see. After Louisville, I go to San Diego next week for okay. the American Comedy Company week. And I'm doing it with Kyle Kinane. Never heard of him. Kyle Kinane... This is so bizarre to me. We are co-headlining, <laughs> so weird. which is so weird, uh, <laughs> only because, like, well, I headline all these places Nationally. on my own. Yeah. <laughs> but then Kyle, <laughs> Kyle's, like, fucking famous. Like, yeah. Kyle doesn't need a co-headline no. at all. And <laughs> they're putting us together, which, you know what I'm looking for? I don't have to do an hour a night. I can just that, do, that's like. That's right. That's great. You cut your time down, my man. But uh, and then the next week, New York City. I'm very excited to do uh, Gotham Comedy Club in New York. That'll be and fun. Full really charge. exciting. Just full charge, right? Full charge. The concierge is working with me. Oh snap! And at Gotham, this is something that's crazy. What? Time? Um, <laughs> we have our live podcast. That's right. Next week, um, that's going to be at the John Lovitz Comedy Club. Yeah. The tickets are on sale. You can find the tickets at johnlovettscomedyclub.com. I think we've also tweeted them a bunch. Yeah, but You can find it on our site. But we're really excited to do a live podcast. That's going to be fun. It will be next Wednesday, the 23rd. Mm, 23rd. Yes. What time uh, is it, like 7 or 8 o'clock? I believe it's 8 p.m., 23rd at Lovett's. Um, we're going to have multiple people stop in to uh to yes. say hello and join us but it'll be really fun to do it live and have an audience there so please if you're in the greater los angeles area please consider getting tickets to come and see us do our thing live uh the last thing before we start the show we you guys have been so supportive on Ustream, uh excuse me on itunes those of you who listen on itunes Please, if you have uh, listened there and that's where you regularly listen, please subscribe so you get it automatically in your your little iTunes inbox every yeah. episode. Please rate and review and star. It only takes a brief moment and then you get, uh, it helps us out. It helps the, uh, the, the podcast to be rated and reviewed and starred and all that shit. Yeah, I think your okay. knuckle's bleeding. Is it? 
Yeah, it's a little bloody looking today. I went to the. Uh, oh, because you're a killer. I hit the. Uh, you're a crusher. The heavy bag. Don't brag. Look at that shit. Why are you fucking bragging face these everybody. People? All right. Um, you ready to do this? I'm ready to do it. Let's party. Okay. I just want everybody to know that I love Nancy Grace. She gave me and Copper Cab an autograph book of her 12th victim, but she's on every night two or three times, and she's got about all the murders that are taking place and all the child abductions, and you can learn a lot if you learn to listen to Nancy Grace, you people out in internet land. Nancy Grace is the thing to watch, and Bill O'Reilly if you're into politics. I have to have my teeth in when I talk about Bill O'Reilly because, you know, people won't listen to you if you're toothless. Now, you know they won't listen to you if you're toothless. I mean, you know, I don't understand the Internet, really. I don't understand all this. I don't really know what the hell I'm doing. But anyway, uh, I just want to tell everybody that I love Nancy Grace and to watch her. Randy. Don't bring anyone loving to this. Your mom in the fucking stand! Welcome. Welcome to your mom's house with Tom Segura. Tom Segura. And Christina Pajitsin. Christina Pajitsin. Welcome to your mom's house. What do you think of that shit? <laughs> you need to have your teeth in or people don't need them. That's y'all. fantastic. Um, Nancy Grace is the devil, man. That is a... I hate her so much. Oh, I know. And uh, I got to give a credit where credit to a, a listener sent sent that video. <laughs> so great, right? It's a gem. You, you got to see it. You got to watch her. It's uh, it's <sighs> amazing. Um, she definitely does not have teeth in and uh, she definitely really loves Nancy Grace. That's so. I was wondering who the hell watches that piece of shit. She fucking sucks balls. She's the worst. I fucking hate Nancy I hate her Grace. Too. You know what though? I had a friend that worked on a Jerry Springer show. He was she was a producer, and she said that the vast majority of guests on the Jerry Springer show had no teeth. Yeah, I believe that. And they had to give them, you know, like flippers, like on toddlers and tiaras. They give really? them like fake. Yeah, just to be on, you can't be on TV with no teeth. Dude, you got to put teeth in. That's rule yeah. number one, dude. Yeah, you yeah. can't be on Springer toothless. <laughs> but nobody's on TV that's toothless. This lady's out of her mind, too. No, you can't, you shouldn't go, you should, look, if you're going to be on TV, <laughs> always have, if you can't, I understand if you can't get new, get uh, clean and pressed clothing, like you want to look, you know, uh, you want to look decent for clothing, like for, for television. Yeah, sure. Get a haircut. I'll always have nice hair for TV. And then third, have teeth. <laughs> always have teeth when you're doing television. It's very important. Nancy Grace, and then that little girl was kidnapped, and that little I girl, know. and I'm a lawyer. Now, Nancy Grace was a lawyer at you know, one time. She was. I think she she's was. been both a defense attorney and a fraud. I think she's been both. But I don't buy, I don't like the the overly self-righteous people. Oh. Who, even, oh. even if it's regarding... The, um, you know, g- crime and criminals, which obviously everybody's against people being horrible, violent criminals. When she goes on, when she gets on her, you know, her fucking shoebox, whatever it it's is. It's not a shoebox, isn't called? it? Isn't it called a cake box? A cake. No, it's a... Soapbox. So, no, no, no. It's a soapbox. It's a, it's a hand box. <laughs> it's when a doula box. she gets on box. her hand box. It's a hand box. <laughs> and she stacks like three hand boxes up together, and she it's says, her fart box. "Look at my hands. Look at the look hands. at my hands." No, everybody. but she does. I don't uh, that false like. I know. And it's like, oh, the the idea that we're supposed to be impressed that you're against murderer, like when she's <laughs> like, "This guy just <laughs> yeah. kidnapped this child. You yeah. should rot in hell." I was like, "Yeah, we know. We everybody. already every, we all feel that way, yeah. asshole. You're not doing anything fucking special." Yeah. You don't have a special skill. She's you can not, go fuck yourself. She's not reinventing the wheel. Go uh, work at Ustream, you dumb cunt. <laughs> she is the worst. She feeds on um on that mom mother's uh, I don't fears. buy that. And it shit also it feeds into all. a lot of motherhood fears, I think, of your own child being kidnapped. Could you imagine? And I know that's why every soccer mom of course, is watching that. I know. Like, oh my god. Speaking of law school, by the way, uh, I would like to mention 
that my letter came from my loan. This is exciting. Yeah, that my two week mistake of going to law school mm -hmm. cost me six thousand dollars. Six grand for two <laughs> weeks there. That's it. Two you weeks. I know. And that's like I returned all the books. That's just two weeks of tuition for law school. Jesus. It cost me six grand. I just paid off the loan this month. I got the letter in the mail yesterday and mm -hmm. I'm fucking freezy out of law school. Yep. Yep. Biggest best mistake of my life. Uh, best thing was dropping out. Do you smell this fucking cunt's food yes, next door? Yes, I fucking do. I can hear her. Me, 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 me. What is she? Is she watching Nancy Grace in there? She probably is. She's the fucking worst. Uh, she's also, the she devil. Today's a day of just fucking hating everybody. I just <laughs> absolutely cannot stand this woman. <laughs> um, yeah, I know. She always has some fucking Ugh. tire being cooked with you know the tire with, yeah with like like dead. who eats tires is that oscar the grouch or like popeye Ugh. wasn't there a cartoon character that eats tires she is the fucking who was that oscar the grouch who did that i don't know he lives in a trash can no she's i can hear her right now she's, she's always, like talking to somebody i know it's always i got ridiculous. you that miracle ear so we could spy on her she I tried using the miracle I got Tommy I, think I, I can got hear Tommy. I can hear her. <laughs> Oh there she is There she goes Yep, yep that's her She's got her her friend over and She um she always uh she likes to turn it up. She likes people she's to know. She's a screamer. Sometimes I think she leans against the wall. Just You know yeah. what I mean? Yeah, yeah. Like if she's in the back of the room, she goes, I think I need to, you know, go, go up there and... and <laughs> there she is. I like this song. Work, 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 my mama. Yeah. Work your mommy line. It's a good song. Dun, 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 work your mommy. Dun, 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 work your mommy times. times. Dun. Oh. What? Fill me with cum? I don't know. What's she Something. saying? Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> oh, Jesus. All right. Wow, that was nice. That's our neighbor. Did um, I tell you what I did yesterday? I'm not proud of it. What'd you do? You know how I got you that miracle ear? Yeah. What? What, babe? What I just saw at? something real real bad. Oh, pornography? No. Well, stop looking at pornography. I'm not looking at pornography. Why are you looking at pornography porno in front of our listeners? I'm not looking at anything like that. Just, Can I tell you a what lady I did? taking a shit. Babe, yeah. I don't want to see that. Blue Band Go doesn't ahead. like. So I was um, doing the dishes, you know, and, and uh, next door to us, there's like AA meetings. Mm hmm uh, and um, I, I I got Tommy this go? miracle ear. No, but I, I always try to overhear because, you know, they confess shit that they've oh, done. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. And I always try to overhear the AA meeting. I like when they clap and stuff. Like, it mm -hmm. makes me happy. To sure. Like, oh, look, they're clapping for each other. And I put on the miracle ear yesterday, and I, like, totally leaned to the window to see if I could hear, like, their horror stories. Like, I sold my baby for crap. Yeah, yeah. I totally couldn't hear. You couldn't hear anything? No. Uh. But maybe I'll go over there one day and be like, oh, yeah, I've got a problem with uh, cookies. I'm a cookie addict. You know, you could just, you don't have to say anything. You could just walk over there and just stand there. There's so many people at that one. Oh, yeah, you're right. It's you could just stand there. Do you want to go over one night? Sure. It's not, you don't have to say anything? Not at all. That's you voluntary. Just... Yeah, yeah. Oh, okay. Yeah, I kind of people... want to hear, like, what do they talk about and stuff. Yeah, it's all, it's going to be really sad fucking stories. Um, I mean, some of it will be like, I'm really proud of for myself. for scratching your balls in front of... Some of it will be like, oh, Babe, you know, it's great. I You just showered. Why does it, Why is it so itchy right now? Hair. Here? Hair doesn't... It grows weird, you know? Ugh. So how was... um? Oh, it's so gross of you. How was Denver? That was so aggressive how you scratched just now. Yeah, how was it Denver? It was like you finger banged yourself. You fingered your asshole. I know. It's, it's really, it was my taint. Dude, Denver was awesome. I met so many mommies. I met um, Joe the janitor. That's mm -hmm. her Twitter handle. I can't remember her real mm -hmm. name right now. And she and her husband made t-shirts of, of us and sat in the front row. And I almost lost Those my are load. amazing. I if you go them. to, um, also if you go to Facebook uh, slash your mom's house, your mom's podcast. How is it on Facebook? Oh, for fuck. I don't know. Your mom's house, I think. No. It's well, your mom's I house podcast. I tweeted it too. Yeah. It's your mom's house podcast. Yeah, yeah. If you go there, you can see the uh, the fucking. It's the best shirts ever. Oh, it's so. What she did is she made one of me, and it says "Mommy Goebbels," 
and it's got like my, my mouth open with like chocolate smeared on my teeth and it's in red and then there's one of you and Bert Kreischer as a couple of gay bears. Yeah. And I forgot what what it said on that one, but that was so awesome. I yeah. fucking, I almost shit my pants it's, all on uh, stage like, what? Facebook.com, your mom's house it's podcast. It's so good. It's so fucking good. It should amazing. be up there. Uh, and it's also like on our uh, on our uh, personal Facebook pages. Yeah, I'll so. put it on the website too under Mommy Mail. Yeah, it's amazing. it's so good. He made a, a real two bears in a cave. <laughs> crazy t-shirt and um and and then the mommy gerbils one big it's fucking shout out so to that. funny thank you how so how was much. the actual show okay the shows were great uh i met a lot of mommies which i always love believe me you guys when you come and you say hi to me it makes my night because it it just means that you guys are awesome and i love it and um okay 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 but i had the worst mc of all time oh no on mother's day yeah of all days this is the best i mean bad meaning good good meaning you know what I'm saying? Just like disaster. So he gets up. This is how this guy opens the show on yeah. Sunday, on Mother's Day. He goes, happy Mother's Day, motherfuckers. <laughs> and I'm in the back just like, oh, really? Did you just bug in? And he's like, and then he starts telling like horrendous shit and dick. And, and then who wants to see a picture of this vibrator I found in the street? And then he holds up his iPhone. It's a picture of a dildo. And he, he holds it up to this old black woman in the audience. Mm-hmm. And they're all just horrified. What is he? It's a picture of Hor- a dick? It's a dildo that he ran over in the street, apparently. Jeez. And anyway, he horrifies the audience. For ten- and I haven't seen a guy bomb this hard yeah. since like open mic at the coffee house yeah. 10 years ago. He ate such a bag of dicks. And then he comes up to me and he's like, I was like, great job, man. Because we were la- the feature act and I were just dying. Uh, mm-hmm. And he's like, oh, shit, I forgot to do this joke. Did I do this joke about uh, six dicks? And I'm like, no, man, you did enough. <laughs> I think you did enough. <laughs> you did enough that is was the best thing yeah. that you could ever say to somebody yeah. when they say, like, did I do my rape <laughs> shit yet? And you're like, no, nah, but you did enough. <laughs> you, did, you did plenty, my man. What, what you did was it already, they know it's in there. <sighs> Damn it. They know it's in the arsenal. Just just yeah. hang on to it. I mean, here's you can horrify crowds. Once you learn how to do that, prof- like he was just too young of a comic to know how. Yeah, you can horrify people once they know of you, course. and then you can talk about. Whatever or you can you just want. horrify them if your point is a uh, is such a an interesting or like yeah, it's a it, it's like a truth revealing point. So you can be horrifying, but uh, if like if what you're saying, you keep digging through it, and it's either really revealing of a, of a truth, <laughs> right, like there's right, some honesty right. to it. Or it's just so flat out hilarious, like it's undeniably funny. Yeah. So it's gross, but the paint, the picture you paint, is so funny that they can't deny. Right. Know. Right. Yeah. Right, and they have to trust you too. They have to yeah. know who you are a little bit. You can't just be like, "Happy Mother's Day, motherfuckers." Yeah. Here's my dick. Suck on my. You know, you're like, "What are you doing?" It was mm. amazing. I had so. a really fucking funny thing happen. What? Um, well, um, we decided. Well, first of all, do you have my phone? Because I, I can. I think I can play. Oh this. yeah, here. I can try to hook up this video for everybody. Um, so, what happened was, uh, Thursday was the worst show I've been a part of <laughs> in years. <laughs> it's- I've never seen anything like it. I mean, literally, in Ugh. in my professional career, I've I haven't seen. I've done, you know, you do privates. I've done corporate events. Oh, I did a corporate terrible uh, a few years ago for like a home builders association disaster, <laughs> um, shit like that. I've had obviously club shows where you're like, I wish that would have gone better, yeah. or you're like, you know, the first twenty minutes sucked, but then it picked up, or the first twenty minutes were good, and then it went downhill, blah blah. This was just like front to back of fucking zero. Okay. Shit stacked on shit. It was terrible. <laughs> it was so bad that when there were people, there were some people who were like, that was funny. Like, I like that. And I was like, yeah. And then I almost said, what are you doing later this week? Because I want you to come back and see how it should go. <laughs> yeah. You know what I mean? Like, I was I about know. to invite them, be like, what are you, all your names? I'm going to put you on the guest list for Saturday. Yeah. So, anyways, that was a shit show. Then, like, Friday first show was okay. The the second show was great, and then Saturday was great. So we ended up having a lot of fun, and I was working with um, uh, Tommy Ryman, this is a really funny comic from Minneapolis, and uh, Taylor. God damn it, what's your Taylor Connolly? I think's his name. Out of Boston was the MC. So for for Sunday, I was like, Yo, it's, it's Mother's Day. There's there's not going to be a lot of people there. But Let's yeah, just do something to holiday. make to make ourselves laugh. So first I asked, well, I asked the the announcer, like the the guy that does the announcements, 
to add a little something, a little flavor <laughs> to the to the announcements. And he was like, well, what do you want me to say? And I was like, just say this and, um, you know, we'll get, it'll be fun and then you'll make me laugh. And then I tell the MC, I want you to open with this. And he was like, okay, so let me see if I think I can get this to play uh, through the system. Okay. So I'm going to, connect uh something to this okay. let's see if this works okay hold on one second i'll try this oh, I'm sorry guys don't hate my husband for this he's gonna screw this up what i oh you can hear me i don't know you can still hear me <laughs> uh, oh god i can't imagine he knows what the fuck he's doing oh here it goes see He's gonna oh. How to call the restaurant. Here's what the hand we're coming out tonight. At this time, please note the two emergency will get the front and rear of the shoulder. And at the end of the emergency, please go see these locations. At this time, please set your cell phones to be off for hybrid position. Talking, heckling, and texting are committed at any time for the show. And please note that cameras and recording devices are not allowed at any time. But now they got some good time tonight. He did it. You dared so, him to do that. Yeah, that was my um <laughs> that was for my own amusement and um so That's I got, great. I got the uh, the announcer guy. Am I on? Am I everything good here? Yeah, I can. I, hear you. Okay, I got I got him to say, <laughs> uh, "Come on, your mom's in the fucking stands. You can do it better than that." And then I got the MC to say, "Pussy, pussy, pussy. I want some pussy." <laughs> How come your MC? I try to get them to say shit all the time, and they never do. And then. My guy goes out there and says, happy Mother's Day, motherfuckers, without even me having to ask. Well, it's so funny that you told me that when you said that <laughs> to me, because what happened was after, um, so I established that. Oh, then I established for Tommy. We decided, Tommy, the, the comic from Minneapolis, <laughs> he does a bit about like scat, um, oh, jazz. Yeah. And, and he ends up, uh, like the bit's basically that like the um, scat uh, came from somebody who who stutters mm -hmm. and he does this, a thing where he stutters and it's really funny. And then he has like a punchline. I'm not going to do his whole bit, but um, he stutters for like 10 seconds. And I was like, stutter for at least 30 <laughs> seconds. Like, so, <laughs> so, so that it gets, yeah, so it gets like really long, but then it's going to be like funny again. And then, so he did it and it killed, like it killed. Cause he made it like awkward and then funny again. Right. And then when he did the punchline, it like, it really killed. So, Everybody agreed to it, and I was like, what should I say? And then they were like, you should say, are you motherfucking mothers ready to do this? <laughs> so, like, that was, should be your first line. So I was like, all right. So what I also added to it, I was like, how about I'll dance onto the stage? Like, oh, I'll get God. up and I'll actually dance onto stage. And they were like, yeah, definitely dance <laughs> on the stage. So I came out, danced, and I was expecting, because... Like when he said, pussy, 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 I want some pussy. <laughs> they were like, huh? <laughs> Which is, is always the best. That, I first got uh, Brooks uh, Robinson to do that in Minneapolis. Um, and they were like, what? Like they don't know what's going on. Um, mm -hmm. And they kind of reacted like that. Although he added a tag to it that was, that was pretty funny. Taylor said like, pussy, 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 I want some pussy. That's what I say when I go to the pet store. Right, everybody? Oh, there so you go. So he got himself, like, kind of out of it, you know? Yeah, yeah. But they were still like, that's a weird opening line. Yeah. Um, when I said, are you motherfucking mothers ready to do this, they <laughs> applauded so loudly. Like, they were like, this is the show. Right, yeah, like, right. Like, they were like, that's what we were waiting for. Maybe maybe that should be your opener forever. Uh, I think maybe Like, this weekend I should try it? Yeah, I try it every week. Are Mother you motherfucking fucker. mothers? And I'll, I'll say mothers every Sunday. That'll be Happy it. Mother's Day. That's how I'll open every Sunday show. <laughs> and I'm going to try to go every week. This is what I'm going to do. Eh. Every week now, I'm going to try to get my MC on Sunday to open with Pussy, 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 I Want Some Pussy. Yeah. Well, yes. little known fact, you guys, in the comedy world, Sunday shows are kind of a throwaway to us comedians. Yep. Truth be told, because, you know, the main event was Friday and Saturday, two shows on both nights, so... Come Sunday, you're just beat. Like, you're just tired. Yeah. 
And so that's when you actually see the real shit happen because comics will, will work out new things and and we're trying to entertain ourselves. That's actually, I think, one of the best nights to come see a comic is Oh, Sunday. I think that's the best. And it's actually... Be, you don't give a fuck at all. It's even Sunday. better when there's like 100 or less. Yeah. Like if there's like 60 people, you're going to see the most authentic, probably yeah. funniest show of the week. It's And they usually are my they best show of the week. And they're usually the ones where I'm like, I just got to get the fuck out of here. Like I'm just yeah. like... Dude, you can yeah. light, light me at 20 if you want. Yeah, that's I want to get out of here. And then, but then you like it. Then, then you, end you up enjoy it. And you do your longest set. Yeah. yeah. It's always Because it's fun. intimate. Like this time I had a lot of um, older black women in the audience. Mm-hmm. And I was talking okay. about. Yeah. They, okay. <laughs> they're the best. Because black audiences, they tend to chatter back to you, mm-hmm. which is uh, when you first start doing them, you're like, why are they fucking talking? And then you realize they're talking okay. to you. Yeah. Yeah. Um, so I talked about my mom, which I don't really do much because she's crazy, like literally crazy. But I started talking about my mother and this black woman in the front was like, all right, that's some real shit. OK, that's your personal story. And I was mm-hmm. like, oh, that's so cute. Like mm-hmm. it totally uh, I wanted to like hug her, you know, cause yeah. she was like an old mommy type. So what are you looking at now? The What's fucking, going on? What, what, I can't, I can't focus on this. Fucking... I need to look at you because we're having a thing. We're having a moment. I know, but just keep talking, man. I, but I can't because I know you're not paying the... attention. I am paying attention. I'm paying attention to, to the other 10 things. Just fucking keep talking, man. <sighs> oh, what else was I going to say? Oh, my God. And the first thing that happened to me in the history of Sienna in my career ever. What was it? Ever. And I'm talking, I've done shitholes in Florida. I've done... A fucking hibachi grill restaurants. This is yeah. the first in my comedy career. They didn't pick us up. They, me and the feature act, Michael Malone, who's a really funny guy out of Indianapolis. He lives in LA now. Uh, we're waiting in the lobby. He's supposed to be picked up six thirty. They didn't pick you up. Six forty five. No, nobody came. Seven, which is when the show started. Yeah. N- still nobody. Seven o five. The guy runs up and I was like, oh, I'm so sorry. I'm like you. You didn't notice that the feature and the headliner are nowhere to be found. It was one of those things where you're like, I can't fucking believe this happened. What did What did they say? He's like, Oh, I'm sorry. I was in my office. I just, I didn't, I didn't even notice the time. Blah blah. blah. I'm like, You got to be shitting me. Because usually they're worried that comics are passed out drunk. Yeah, not picking up the headliner is definitely a big problem. (laughs) That's definitely not good. It's never happened in my life. It's they usually want you there early. Like, we got to make sure you're in the building, you know, God forbid. Because the course. MC can't do more than 10 minutes, usually. Yeah, no, no, he's not going to stretch that much longer. And that kid, oh my God, there's no way. No. The guy that was like, who wants to look at my dick? I got to <laughs> shove this cock down my throat. Happy Mother's Day, cocksuckers. I'm like, oh my God. <laughs> How did they react to that when he did that? Mortified. I, really? I literally, I've never seen an audience. It was the best thing I'd ever seen. I never. Like mouths open, and really? and no, like, those black women in the front were like, "Oh no! Oh no! Hell no! Oh, oh he crazy? No. no, they okay? Yeah, <laughs> don't call me a motherfucker on Mother's Day. Totally. I bet they were saying that. To- Who the fuck just yep. called me a motherfucker? On yep, Mother's Day. And they turned to each other, like they, you know, they turned away from the stage and fully yeah. ignored him. It yeah. was the best thing. That's what um, I had a table of black women, all big fat black women. At a show this week that were like hollering and hooting. And then when I said something like real nasty, I, I forget what I said. I said mm-hmm. something just really dirty. And um, I don't remember what which part it was, but it was something really like graphic, like maybe porn related. Oh, and really? They, That's weird. You don't usually. I know. But then I saw them all just went like. <laughs> and then I went, you guys just got upset. And then they started laughing because they were like mm-hmm. totally in disapproval of it. Mm-hmm. It's really funny because they do. They'll show you that disapproval. Like They'll show you disapproval, but they'll mm-mm. also show you supreme approval. Of course. It's, you get both it's, ends of it. Yeah. It's the fucking it's the best thing there. And there are guys uh, in Cleveland. I remember this one guy who dressed like a total pimp juice, mm-hmm. like white on white suit. Yeah. And he came up after me after the show. The guy had a gun on him. He had a gun Turns on him? Turns out he was a, a marshal or something, oh. or a sheriff or some shit. I don't know. I was like, you gotta be shit. What's up, Pimp Juice? Yeah, he was. And I made fun of him, too. I called him a pimp. And they all like loved that. Mm. Anyways, that was it. That was the weekend shows. I'm glad to be home. Jesus. <laughs> but it was I, good. It was all right. I did the um the most fun thing. One of the most fun things I've ever. You know, you have to do things on the road to amuse yourself. Yeah. So Tommy and I, you know, we walked around. We did stupid shit. Walked into, you know, we go get coffee and go to lunch. You just, just whatever's walking distance. Well, here's what you do, actually. The, whoever's picking you up and driving around goes, well, 
right near your hotel, there's a mall, and we've yeah. got an IHOP in there, and you have to act like it's the most amazing right. thing you've ever heard. Or in my case, there's no car, so no one's picking you up for anything. <laughs> so you just walk to what's next door. So we walk to the strip mall <laughs> next door, and we're just like, all right. And then we walk into Casual Mail XL. So I've only ever seen those. Casual Mail XL is where... I've never been in it. Enormous men <laughs> shop. And enormous in many regards. It's it's if you're 500 pounds, you shop there. If you are 6'10", and you're, you know, you're not, you don't have to be obese, but you're just, you're just huge. Just a tall guy, yeah. Yeah, or you could be just a fucking, like, Viking-built guy where you can't buy shit at sto- regular stores. Yeah. And then it's, yeah, it's for the super <laughs> obese, it's for tall, it's for everything. <laughs> so we walk in there. And there's two. There's nobody in the store. I, I would say you're not a casual male if you're extra large. Oh, I know. Like you're it's, more of a standout male. I don't know who came up with that. I know. Name. It should be like everybody notices you male. <laughs> yeah, XL. Yeah. Yeah. You're not casual. Buddy. Nudge the person next to you, <laughs> XL, <laughs> because I've never seen a person this big in my yeah, life. Yeah, you're a beast. So we walk in there, and to give you, just to give you like, like the, you know, size. I'm six feet tall, and I weigh about two forty. OK, <laughs> um, I wear an XL, usually a uh, shirt and uh, 38 inch pants. Yeah, I need to lose like 40 pounds. OK, <laughs> Tommy Ryman is five mm. eight and a maybe, maybe I don't know if he weighs 160. Okay. So he is a de- obviously a slim build, like very slim, like, not an ounce of fat on the guy. Yeah. We walk in with casual mail XL, and we're like, let's just look at this shit, man. We go in, and there's two sales ladies that are just in their late 40s, early 50s, the kind of retail ladies you see at every department store. Yeah. So they're like, how you guys doing? I'm like, good, good. Um, so where's your biggest stuff? <laughs> and she was like, uh, well, there's some at that back back." And that clearance table over there, there's some 7Xs. Seven. X's, you know, seven. seven X. Is that the biggest? That's what they they have. It, and they can order 10X, 9X, and 10X, but in the store, they had some 7X. And I was like, okay, I go, so you get, uh, what's like the biggest guys you see in here? <laughs> and they're mm. like, oh, there are some really big guys. And then they go, you know, we see such big guys all the time that you guys actually look normal to us right now. <laughs> And I was like, <laughs> because she thought that we yeah. were huge guys, but that she couldn't just, she couldn't see it. Oh, right. Do you right. understand? Like, she thought that we walked in and we're, we were shopping there because we're huge guys and we need huge things. But yeah. she was like, we're so used to seeing so big <laughs> that you guys don't even look huge. <laughs> Right. Like you guys actually look like normal guys, yeah, yeah. not like. And we wanted to be like, yeah, we, we are. are, yeah. But she was like, I was like, yeah, okay, so we need to look at that stuff. And they were very friendly. And then we go and we put on. I, I make Tommy put on the seven X. I take a picture of him. <laughs> oh, you, yeah, I tweeted you, those. Yeah, yeah, it's yeah. so retarded. He and looks they look, like he's swimming. They in look it. like dresses. It's yeah, the best. And then <laughs> what happens was like they were really friendly until. They saw us taking pictures of, of oh, each other in the clothes. on fat people. And then as we were walking out, I was like, hey, thanks. And they were like, yeah. <laughs> and I left my jacket. So <gasps> I walked out and I go, oh, shit, I left my jacket. So I walked back in. I was like, hey, I left my jacket. And they didn't say shit to me. They were like, <laughs> <laughs> but the idea that they see such big people yeah. that they were like, you guys are, um, you know, you guys are like normal sized, right? She, like, but actually, she, we are. Dude. She made it like a point. She was like, "You wouldn't believe it. Yeah. You you guys look like <laughs> regular sized people." Like in her head, there was no way a regular sized person would come in there. And right, be like, right. Hey, is there any it's, way it I would can... be like working at like a little people yeah. clothing store? And so when someone normal sized yeah. walked in, you're like, 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 "You guys are really little. You guys are tall little people." Yeah, like she has no she frame had of reference. No frame of reference <laughs> until she saw us mocking him. Like. <laughs> That's the only the thing, best. and I and then I told Tommy that like would be great if we went back the next day, and had him keep trying on stuff, yeah. but keep asking for mediums. Like, don't you have like a medium or something that I can try this in? Like, no, we only have huge shit. And he's like, I like this, but I just want a medium. <laughs> I'm surprised they don't have more casual mail type stores because people are getting Dude. bigger and bigger every and year. I apparently, even, you know what I was thinking is like I don't even mean like uh, the the fat aspect of it. Like, 
you realize that like like there's some places where I go to buy a shirt, I'll try yeah. on their biggest shirt and it'll be like an XL or something. Yeah, and it won't it's just fit, not big enough. And I'll be like, Oh, what's the next? And they're like, That's it. Well, like that time we were shopping right, for but your that's last for me. TV appearance. But no, that's I for know. Me. So imagine a guy, not even like obese. I'm just saying like a dude who's, let's say, not even even close to humongous, but let's say he's like 6'3", 6'4". Yeah. yeah, yeah, yeah. And he's like just built. Where He can't buy anything anywhere. Yeah, I know. He can't buy, like Chuck, our friend Chuck. Yeah, he's a big old bitch. I mean, he's 6'5". He's probably too... 85 he's not like like hanging off of himself like you know no. like the biggest guy in the world he's just like and he's not fat he's just a big he's a big old dude he's built like that th- he can't buy truck. clothes at the places like i've bought clothes no man he can't do that shit no that's so funny dude you know i i've never been into i've never been into a casual mail and i've never been into a bass pro shop Oh, you're missing out. And I know I there was one in the in the fucking mall that I was at. You know what I did do? They though? also have those seven X shirts at Bass Pro, I think. No, they don't really. No, like camo. So. No. Um, what I did do for the first time ever, yeah. me and Michael Malone went over to um, just to look at the Country Town Buffet. How was that? Have you ever fucking been inside of one? I don't think on so. a Sunday. No, dude, it looked like the DMV with like just f- disgusting military food it was so fucking gross uh, I, the the waitress was like you can take a walk through if you like and we're like all right and it was just kids and morbidly obese people everywhere and the food looked so fucking disgusting yeah I, I couldn't run out of there fast enough yeah and we ran across the street to ihop which was a delight actually when's the last time you so ate wait, country IHOP? town buffet looked really gross holy fuck and I, why did it look so gross it looked like it looked like literally i've had better food in afghanistan when i was over there uh, but the, like the troops are eating better food than what's at the country town really? buffet. I'm pretty sure. Yeah, yeah. Wow. They get wow. like lobster night once a month. But IHOP, I love IHOP. That's not great. And you know what? They have a menu that's like 600 calories, so you don't go out of there eating like the whole fucking place. Really? Yeah, man, it was good. I didn't mind it. They have like turkey bacon and all this shit, so you don't come out of there like a total pig. That's not bad. It was exciting. I was excited. I saw the Avengers with Ari Shafir. I saw the Avengers. Town. I saw the Avengers with uh, my buddy Matt Stowe. In uh, he's such a name dropper. Right I know. Now. In uh, I hang in out Hartford. with Ari Shafir. He's a bigger name than Matt. Than yeah. Matt. St- I mean, our listeners know. Ari. They know who Ari is. I know. Fucking prick. And then wow. Um, Wait until he hears that. Get it, maybe he'll get stuck in his dumb beard. His beard's unruly. I right saw now. a photo of it. It's crazy. I had to eat with him with that beard. I'm doing a his storytelling Ugh, show. Smells. Um, coming up in like a week. Oh. Yeah. So what? I'm friends with Ari too. I'll probably see him. Well, I saw the. What would you think of the Avengers? I liked it, man. I'm a huge fan of the Hulk. So yep. I see all the Hulk's movies. I see all of his movies. I thought he stole the show, frankly, and I loved the character of the Iron Man. Robert Downey does an impeccable job. He he's so good at that. I liked it. I thought I thought they could have whittled down some of the action scenes. Yeah, they could have edited. A it's bit. a little fucking elaborate. Yeah. 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 But it was cool. I like 3D man. I almost shit my pants a few times because it was so like crazy to watch a movie like I mean, we saw an IMAX 3D. Yeah. So it was fucking super overstimulating. I saw I saw 3D. I didn't see IMAX 3D. Jesus. Yeah. I I, I mean that's really. That's a bit. It's a yeah. bit much, right? Yeah, I wanted to fucking kill myself. Good God! Halfway um, through, it was a yeah. Oh, can I just tell you, like, fucking, how oh, goddamn, uh, Direct TV? How fucking much? Fuck they... Direct TV. You stream? Who do we hate more? You stream or Direct TV? Right now, I hate Direct <laughs> uh, Ustream the most, but <laughs> Direct TV is getting up there. Those fucking cunts. This is what they did. They, they went and last. No, it was like a set May fifth, Cinco de Mayo. Cinco de Mayo. Cinco de Mayo um, is a humongous fight. Mayweather Cotto, right? So I go, I want to get Mayweather Cotto fight. Uh, I'm going to have some buddies over, watch the fight, have a few drinks. Just do what fucking people do, right? Right. So it's the day of the fight, in the morning of the fight. I call DirecTV and I go, hey... Because I know what what happens is when when you get married, like you take some people who were the primary on something, you just carry it over, right? Like you yeah. had a Directv account, I did go. 
all right, we carry yours. So your name is like the primary name on the account. Right. Right. And then like I'm on, I'm the primary name on the the cell phone and, and other. So that's just, but it's like, whatever, that's what people do when they get married. They're like, well, add my person. To yeah. It. We just, we combine shit. Yeah. So I call and they're like, what's the primary number? Yeah. And I give them your number. Yeah, don't give it out right now. God, Tommy. <laughs> yeah, I know. I just Duh. said that's why I said I give him your number. Damn shit, Blanca! Don't give out my phone number. I'm not gonna give out your number, Blanca. <laughs> so I go. Uh, they go. Are we speaking to her? Christina? No, they go. <laughs> yeah. Uh, they go to her husband. I'm like, yeah. And then they're like, uh, Are you else? Tom? Uh. And I was like, Yes. They're like, How can we help you? And I'm like, I want to order a Kodo Mayweather fight. And they're oh, like, Okay. Boy. I was like, Do you want us to just order it right now? We can do that. Um, and there's just like a, a service charge of like like eight bucks or something for, for doing it. And I go, why? Well, I've ordered movies before just on texting. And I can't use that. <laughs> right, right. And they're like, yeah. And they go, and then there's no fee at all. And wait, wait. Like, so yeah. the person that you're talking to already can order it for you, but it costs eight dollars. Right. She's saying like, do you, I'll just <laughs> put it through stupid. right now. Right. But it'll be like an extra. The fight's like 70 bucks. Right. Right. So they're like, do you want to just make it 78 <laughs> And I'm no. like, no. I go, no. I've ordered movies just by texting. <laughs> and she's like, yeah. And I go, but can I text it from my phone? And I give her my phone number. And she's like, oh, no, no, no. There's only one phone number <laughs> per account. And I go, oh, I know. Can you add my number to the account? And she was like, no. <laughs> There can only be one number. No, we can't. You and guys, like, we can't do that. We can only pay our f- bills from our iPhone. We can see outer space from our iPhones, but we can't add how many phone places number do you to have, DirecTV. Yeah, like you so can't stupid. have a second phone number <laughs> yeah. on your DirecTV account. No. Yeah. There's only one number allowed. I was like, mm, I go, so I, I would have to take her number away to add mine. Yes. I'm like, that doesn't make any sense. So then they what suck. do I have to do? I have to call you and say, "Will you text? <laughs> Here's all the information. Whatever that goes, it's the dumbest fucking thing oh, that worst. you can have. You can have two phone numbers. You can have eight phone numbers added to anybody's account for any business. Whatever fucking thing you are, you, your gas bill, your water bill, anything. You could be like, "Here's my." N-. People usually say, "Can we add seven phone numbers yeah, in case please. we can never get in touch with yeah, you?" Yeah, I know. Can we get your work line? Can we get a fax number for you? Can we get this and that? And you're like, "All right, yeah. Here's all the numbers." Just, just go, direct TV, We can't though. do it. We can't fucking have it. They're number. the worst. They're so stupid. Everybody I talk to there is dumber than the motherfucker before. <sighs> Did you have someone that was actually intelligent? Dude. Or were they just totally... She was all right. And it wasn't like when we ordered the movie we tried to watch. <laughs> and when we <laughs> ordered the movie, so like on the pay-per-view screen, you know, there's the HD and the standard def, and we want one HD one, and it says 1030. But we've also ordered them before where... Whatever time you order a movie, it'll just start playing. Yeah. So we call, and on speakerphone, thank God there's a witness to this. We go like, uh, hey, we want to watch this movie. If we order it, do we have to wait till 1030, or will it just start playing? She goes, no, it just starts playing. Like, you just watch you just the movie. start watching it, yeah. And I was like, great. So then, like, we start going like, okay, well, that's what we want to do. And then she's like, all right, so just wait till 1030. And we're like, wait a minute. <laughs> You just said that we don't have to wait till 10.30. You just said we can watch it. Like, not so with this one. This one you got to wait till 10.30. It's like, bitch, you just said that shit. You know what kills me about the service industry like that is that that's the front of the company. That's who everybody talks to in your company. Yeah. So you think you would pay those people well, find really smart, affable folks to yeah. help the general public. Yeah. And, and that way you don't enrage everybody that pays. And we pay quite a penny for this fucking cable okay if it wasn't a tax write-off which it is which we have to have it and we have to stay in tune with you what's gotta going say, on i know because we're in entertainment but i i mean it's such a goddamn get, rip i want to get apple tv what's that's, that that's like um it's like a box that you are ba- basically you're getting tv from the internet oh that's cool my dad like, does that it's like you're, you can stream netflix into it you can, <gasps> like, i think that's the way that. to go. but anyways this is not even halfway over yet so mm-hmm. It's the morning of the fight. So then you, I text you and you go, it's ordered. Like the fight's good to go. Yeah. I'm in the living room. I made coffee. I'm just sitting there. I'm watching Sports Center, And it's like it's like uh, fading in and out. It's like jumping in and out. Oh, no. So I'm like, fuck. So all I do is I, I check another channel. Another channel does work. I just restart the box. It doesn't restart. It goes. Oh, it sends me an error message. So it says restart your box again. 
So I do it again, like reload yeah, yeah. the whole thing. Usually that solves and it everything. Gives you, yeah, it gives you a number with a, a diagnostics code. So I call and I go, hey, what's the, here's the code. And they're like, oh, basically your your box is fucked. It, the drive is, it's shot. And I was like, great. I just the ordered day the of fucking the fight. The fight. I just gave you 70 the bucks. $70 fight. Dollar fight. And they go like, Ugh. oh, yeah, yeah. And I go, so what do I do? And they're like, well, uh, do you have another box? And I was like, yeah, because we have a, another room. And they're like, just hook that box up in there. Which and is I was great. Like, okay, yeah, great. Good. Then I go, what, what about the bad box? They're like, we're going to send you a new one take the one that doesn't work and send it back to us right. i'm like okay great and then that box comes with a letter in it that says here's your new box put your old one in here if we don't get the old one the one that went bad within seven days mm. of sending you the new one we will charge you 250 dollars. <sighs> great. i want that shit to get late <laughs> i want it to arrive the Please eighth don't. day so that i can fucking I will take the satellite off the roof and I'm going to go, I'm going to find a direct TV representative and I'm going to break the fucking satellite over his head until he just, he shits out the bottom of his shoes. Yeah. That's what I'm going to fucking do if I find a, a fee. They will. I guarantee goddamn... they will. No, no, no. They will. Cause these motherfuckers are sneaky. Like we have a plan. I always call them. Here's a little tip guys. Uh, always demand that you want to be paying less for your cable because mm -hmm. I'll call periodically and be like, this is too much. I'm worst. not fucking paying this much. And then they go, oh, man, I'm sorry. We have this special we can give you. So always demand to pay less and eventually they will because you know what they do is that your shit runs out and then they charge you the normal rate for things. Yeah. And then you have to just call and get angry and then they'll take it down again. I guarantee you, my bet is they're going to fuck us yeah. and charge, just put it on the bill. So our next cable is going to be like a million dollars. Yeah. And then and gonna you're going like, to have to call. I'm going to say, send the rep to grab fucking everything. Take the yeah, thing yeah, off yeah. the roof. Take it all. Take it all, fuckers. You're never going to see a fucking penny. <sighs> it's the worst. You fucking cunts. Oh, shit. Oh, oh Jesus, Jesus Christ. How'd that happen? <sighs> I'm sorry, guys. You know what? What? I'm sorry, guys. Man. What? Oh, yeah. Real talk. Oh, yeah. Fix. Real talk. Oh yeah. Real, Real talk. talk. Oh yeah. Real talk. Oh. All right. I love that. Real talk. He's so funny. Mm-hmm. R. Kelly. We well, have a real talk segment for you guys. Yeah, I'm take so it away. very excited. Sorry, I got carried away. Jesus. You know what? I got carried away. I was thinking about R. Kelly and how fucking talented he is. Why don't you sue me, Tom? <laughs> Jesus. Anyways, um Okay. Gypsies. I am obsessed with the Gypsies on TLC. The Learning Channel is started with uh, just my big fat Gypsy wedding, which was about Irish travelers. They're called travelers. They're fucking scum. <laughs> and the English. They're basically hillbillies, except they don't own property. They just live in like trailers. Yeah. And the kids drop out of school. The girls. I gotta say, drop out at twelve. Uh, this was news to me that they're here. Oh, in America. Yeah. So. Last night, Tommy and I were watching the American version. I finally got around to recording it for him to see. Because mm -hmm. I've been watching these on the road. And we watched the episode of the 14-year-old Gypsy Girl. Well, I've always known them to be... I gotta say, from what I've seen on the on the, the American version, yeah. they're way better than what you find in Europe. I mean, in Europe, they're just... Better? Yeah, in Europe, they're fucking rats and roaches. Like, they're fucking... <laughs> All they do is pickpocket and steal. And oh, they're fucking... hated. They're hated. Right. Here, they're like, yeah, we're we're gypsies. Like we we adhere to the gypsy traditions, but like they were all working and like you uh, know. You gotta watch the Irish. No, I'm one. sure that the, they're well, scum fucks. But Irish is is not here. No, no, no. I know what you're saying, but the the the, the program that covers the English and the Irish traveler community, like they're. They're both shitty in That's different exactly ways. That's exactly what I'm saying. Oh, I thought you said that our Americans are better than the shitty European gypsies. That is what I'm saying. Oh, okay. Well, like the American gypsies we'll see. are better than the Irish uh Just you mean they English. look better? No, they're better human beings. <laughs> it's hard to tell. I don't think so. You got to watch the European. The European ones are pretty shitty too. I mean, the American ones are shitty too in their own way. You've only seen that one episode. Yeah, but they're like they're shitty in like in like the way that all white trash is shitty. Yeah, like they're uneducated. You know, they say stupid shit. They're into all they do. Their their main thing is fucking pop a couple of pills, smoke and drink, and fucking <laughs> let's get it on. Like that's what they're dumb. I know that they're fucking. Dumb, oh, they're beyond, and they. they but I'm saying that like when thing. you go to Europe, it's like you have to fucking constantly check your pockets. 
Yeah, and they, they do the throwing throw babies the baby at you. Trick. Yeah, like, yeah, I don't yeah. think that these American gypsies in Georgia that we saw are throwing their babies at and people. And stealing and thieving? Yeah. Um, I don't you know. know. I do think they steal and shit too here. But yeah, the ones that were on the TV show, we just we saw a nicer ilk. You're right on this one. So set this up. So l- last night we're watching this guy. <laughs> so we're watching this one where this 14 year old girl. First of all, gypsy girls are expected just to stay home and make babies from the time they're like 12. It's incredible. <laughs> they drop out of school, and the parents uh, uh, are like, "You need to drop out." Yeah, they yeah. pull them out of school to You're take done care with of the home at 12, and yeah. to raise your brothers and sisters. And you got to get into cleaning. Cleaning is cleaning. A big thing. Yeah, wiping shit with a rag is all you're gonna do. They pointed that out like 10 times. They're like, "Ah, oh, oh, clean cleaning's awesome. I love to clean." <laughs> Not only that, so the highlight of any young gypsy girl's life is her wedding day mm-hmm. beca- and her communion because mm-hmm. those are two times in her life where she gets out of the trailer park and gets to put on a shiny dress. So all this poor gypsy girl <laughs> wants is to have a fancy party so she can wear a fancy dress and meet her future gypsy husband. And her father, whose name is Pat Baby, <laughs> covered in t- yeah. stupid tattoo, like the <laughs> stupidest he's, fucking tattoos. He's amazing. Uh, he's amazing. A bit of a drunk. Pat Baby's favorite yeah. place is the Liquor Mart. He said, this is my goddamn favorite place. My favorite place in the world is what he said. <laughs> the Liquor Mart. The Liquor Place. So, Woo! That's what, he's just, <laughs> they just the seem best. like regular rednecks, you know? They are. Yeah, they're right. They're except, hillbillies, yeah. Except he does fucking, they go out of their way to specify what a, non, a non-gypsy is a what? A uh, uh, Gorgia. And he's like, oh, I don't want... I don't want like our kids hanging out with gorgeous. There's not gonna be any gorgeous at the party. I'm like, are you fucking serious? Well, right okay, because here's the thing: gypsy girls dress like whores. Whores. They look like like the kind you like too. <laughs> like you know when you're in middle school and high school, uh... especially when you're like eighth grade, fourteen, and you're like you hear about who's giving out hand jobs and who's letting them. You finger them, and you're like, oh yeah, it's the ones that dress like that. These chicks. Keep going. Okay. So wait, are you saying that you had girls that dressed like that? And in... yeah. Like but they're the girls that the girls that like dress the way that they dress at the parties. Oh my god! Are the one like yeah you see them in eighth grade, but they're the ones that are fucking you know juggling cocks way before everybody else. You know. Yes, man. I don't. Oh, yeah. Anyways, you need girls like that. Yeah. You do. You know what? They serve a purpose. They serve a real purpose for sure. So, uh, so if Pat Baby is throwing a ho- a Halloween party that's going to blow away. Hey, it's gonna be Puff Daddy ain't got shit on this party. <laughs> That's a quote. <laughs> My favorite is like, they always want to outdo each other, the gypsies. They're always like, this party is going to be the best party in gypsy history. Like, no, it's not. No, not man. until next week, until some other retard has it. Yeah. So this party, they finally find a venue because nobody wants to host a gypsy party because they steal not. everything and they're the of worst. Course. And she has her dress. Now she's going to go, she has to wear two dresses for the party. Her primary dress because she's the queen of hearts. Yeah. And her slutty dancing dress. <laughs> and this is Pat Baby in her trying on the dress. dresses and pat baby he's just like <laughs> he's really just like every fucking i mean to me he strikes me like every like redneck labor kind of yeah, hand that yeah, you yeah, see yeah. anywhere who's just like it's friday i got 600 bucks i got yeah. all, it's all cash it's my pay for the week let's go fucking blow 500 burning a hole yeah, in his let's pocket do it. Yeah, let's go he's, do he's gotta get hammered yeah so here's a little bit <laughs> of um pat baby and his daughter on uh, my big fat american gypsy wedding Throwing gypsy girls to wear a second outfit later in the evening. Are you ready? And Priscilla wants something to dazzle the guests. Yeah, that's right, because she has her primary right. and then the secondary. And they're both... The primary one, what it looks like, is like if a, if a really poor white trash girl were designing like a wedding dress, and you're yeah. like, you can't fucking wear that. But her second outfit, the 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 uh, yeah. the one that is Even like a go go fucking dancing she, like she's Vegas kind of thing. Yeah, yeah, she's a whore. Wait, can I say something? Just a sidebar. All the gypsy girl dresses, like their wedding dresses, are whore dress. Like yeah, they, yeah, oh yeah, they're super slutty. And not only that, dumb. Like because these girls are not educated, so they're like, I want my dress to say Barbie on it. And like you want your wedding dress to, to say, say Barbie. Barbie, yeah, and to be, I want my, I want a hot pink and the idea, crystals. We haven't even specified <laughs> that the, the idea of the Halloween party and her wearing these outfits. The 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 entire idea is that potentially she'll meet her husband her husband husband at 14 yeah will meet her at a halloween party yeah when she's wearing a glitter fucking Poor dress daisy duke shorts with it's hearts the best, on them yeah. and she'll be like this could be 
fucking not gonna find Oh, and P.S. Uh, gypsy girls are supposed to stay pure, which means they're not allowed to kiss. Yeah. Fuck nothing they before don't, their wedding day. They don't look like they don't fuck. Right. Let's say that. Yeah. They, they look like they're built to fuck. Oh, yeah. Really? Fill, fill up the gypsies, seal those gypsies shut. Yeah, yeah, yeah. What do you think? And Diane's got the boots. Knee now, high. the dancing outfit that she has to change out into, it's a little bit more risque, but it's tasteful. It's highly tasteful. That's Pat Baby right there. Short and tight and sexy. <laughs> Can I Holy try shit. these on? Because I love these. <laughs> you think I'm f***ing? I love He's these. drunk. He's hammered yeah. well, at her work fitting. Baby. Oh, my God. Work it, work it. Oh, my God. <laughs> He's Priscilla light up when she's seen that. Can you show them what they're what we're looking at now? Can you point this stomach. camera at it? And I felt it deep in my soul the excitement that little girl felt inside her right then. You know, I could feel it. You look like a star, daughter. I sure wish I was your age again. Mm. We see a mom to see it. I bet you she can't wait. <laughs> <laughs> look at those boots. Look at those boots. Look at those boots, guys. The Holy boots shit. Have over 40,000 crystals on them. Not real ones, baby. And when light hits them, they just sparkle up the whole room. Get used to the fucking the stage yeah, sparkling. You want to be like a human light bulb? Mm-hmm. Should I do it? Yes, you did. Oh, and she's sweet. Poor she's girl. Up my boots and, like, spin them around. It just it just shows you what happens when you get raised by somebody really dumb. I'm so excited after I've seen them because I know the Halloween party's coming up. <laughs> and, you know, it's just going to be boom. It's going to be out there. It's going to be so out there. Good job. I can't wait. <laughs> That's dad. Dad can't wait. Dad. For. Dad checking out. Pat the baby's like, yo, man. That's. Well, and he was, he was, they don't show it in this clip because we couldn't get it, but uh, he's like checking her out as she's trying oh, to yeah, say, yeah. oh, that looks hot. That looks hot. Yeah, that looks so hot. She's really. Like, oh, dude, that's your daughter. She's really fucking turning him on. It's really exciting. <laughs> <laughs> Pat baby we gotta turn him on. I don't think uh, my dad's ever said that to me. No, nah, thankfully, they, dads don't do that. And this is at the. Uh, they want their daughters to look like prostitutes. She looks so ridiculous. So check out this foot. I'll put this on. This will be on UStream. I don't know how to oh, God, obviously do fucking so anything on this, but um, if you go to, uh, is this? Can you guys see this well? Does everybody see me? Does everybody see what's going on? Um, if you, uh, I'm going to show you this other clip where this is them at the party. This is not the Halloween party. This is her, um, so her other gypsy, her gypsy best friend, the 14 year old girl they're following, her friend is having a party in her basement. But right. this right. gypsy girl's friends with Gorgia girls. Right. So the, the, the big thing is Pat Baby's not big or whether or not Pat Baby's going to let his little girl go dance around with a bunch of gorgeous. A bunch Gorgeous. of whores. They're not us. They're they not the same. They're not as classy as gypsies. They don't do it like we do it. Okay, let me <laughs> see uh, if There's, I can get this They think the Gorgia girls are whores. That's my favorite. Okay. Um, let's see. Does this work? All right. One second. Gorgia girls. Mm. Gorgia. You get an idea, though. Girl. She's showing a little bit too much of her. That's a. Uh, that's Pat Baby's wife right there. <laughs> Can't bring a Golgia into a traveler community and expect everything to go as a traveler would have it, you know, because you're going to get that filth and that smut. <laughs> he that's calls. That's why you won't see a Golgia at my Halloween party. As the party takes a more adult turn. <laughs> Pat and Luann decide it's now time for Priscilla to say goodnight. I'm taking my daughter home. Ain't no place for my daughter to be around all these <laughs> gorgeous like this. Bye. <laughs> that yeah. guy. That fucking yeah. guy. He's making the call. <laughs> he doesn't want... He's dancing like gypsies. His daughter. Maybe a little bit more on edge of a stripper. What all made it, like, trashy looking oh. was how she was all over the boys all night. You know, this. Gypsy girls, we we might dance, you know, with our hips and stuff like that. We may show cleavage and skin, but look at her. You won't see That's her. 
anything to Talking shit over, about the other. <laughs> and you won't see us all over the boys unless you're a dirty girl. Uh-huh. A dirty girl. Uh-huh. You're a dirty girl. You a dirty girl. Yeah, you they're a dirty real, girl. real educated, these gypsers. My fa- my family, we're, hung- you know, from Hungary. My Hungarian relatives hate gypsies. Everybody does, babe. Like, Everybody hates gypsies. They fucking... They, they're so racist against the gypsies. It's fine. They're oh, the worst. That's, that's the worst in humanity. <laughs> it's, worst. it's okay. It's okay. They don't. And here's the weird thing: they have a lot of money because I think because they don't Wait, own who does the gypsies. Wait, wait, where the tsigain in Hungarian you call them no, tsiganok. No. The tsiganes. Tsigain does not have a lot. Tsigain in no. in Europe. No, I'm telling you because these these weddings yeah. they cost a fortune. The dresses alone, these gypsy dresses, are like fifty grand. No, I swear to God. And you know why they have cash money? Because they don't own land. They don't pay taxes. They don't have, like, human being expenses. You know what I'm saying? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Because they just, they live in trailers, and all they do is buy beer. So, like, they're just nothing but cash money. Yeah, but they don't have, I mean, they don't have real money. It, you know, they just... No, it's bull, It's like fake. It's like like Persians. Like, they pretend to have wealth. Yeah, they're, they're it's a show of they're, Yeah, yeah. They're, <laughs> it's like saying... These roaches have a lot of food. Oh my god! Well, yeah, Babe, they, they found some crumbs not, on the it's ground. Not the same. It's not my analogy. <laughs> that's not your hateful analogy. <laughs> you know what? That's really hate gypsies. It's fun. <laughs> Fill her up, seal her shut. Shut it up with semen. You know what to do to her. Can I tell you, I looked on our Facebook. Yeah. And overwhelmingly. Oh, no, I'm I'm sorry. I'm thinking of something else. I'm thinking of. uh, Yeah, yeah, yeah. I'm sorry. I screwed that up. Ah, shit, Blanca. No, that's for the next thing we're going to do. But who do we have now? Well,. The voters, it's so <laughs> fun that you guys do this, by the way. Yeah, I love it. You jumped in and you voted, uh, and anybody can do this. All you got to do is go to <laughs> facebook.com slash your mom's house podcast, and you can vote as well. Um, but the idea is that we put these up there, and then you guys decide who you want to fill up and seal shut. It's a poll. It's like any poll. Um, so let's look at the uh, most recent polls. Why is this? It always takes like a... I don't know how it... Okay. We had a uh, Mila... Mila it... Kunis. Why do I say Mila? Because you're dope. Is it not really Mila? It's not Mila. Mila. She's Ukrainian or she's, no Russian. She speaks fluent Russian. She that does broad. speak fluent Smart Russian. Smart girl. Mila Kunis. And who was she with? She was with Natalie Portman. Oh, I think Natalie Portman won, didn't she? I'm looking at it right now. On our now. Facebook? <laughs> Here we go. Holy, it wasn't even close, man. Who do they want? Mila. Oh, oh. Destroyed her. That's so crazy. Destroyed her. Destroyed. Well, because Natalie Portman's kind of a stuck-up broad. That's what we talked yeah, about. I don't we think she's about, fun. We talked about Mila mm. eating out of a dog bowl. <laughs> Because I think she would do Great. it. Great. <laughs> Love that one. Um, Thanks, guys. Thanks for making pictures of me eating out of dog bowls, you guys. <laughs> uh, 118 uh, for Mila. That's crazy, Jeans. Well, that's quite a. That's good. Let's resounding. do one. I want to do one for. Uh, wait, wait. Let's read the other oh, results. Oh, sorry, sorry, sorry. Um, we also did. Wow. This one is even more of a, of a landslide. <laughs> We did Rachel Ray versus Giada de Laurinaitis. De, 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 de vaginitis. Um, this, if you recall, is talked about how I'd like to break Giada's spirit, you know, crush her spirit. And uh, <laughs> so retarded. I think I was drunk during that last one. I don't even remember you saying that. Uh, yeah. So I drank too much tequila that time. Giada, um, <laughs> over three times the amount of votes. Oh my God. Rachel Ray, not even competition for you really? guys. Really. Absolutely really? not. Do you um, and well, then Rachel's not that sexy. That that other woman's much sexier. Rachel would cook for you, but the other girl would gobble your cock. I don't know if she'd gobble it. I think the whole thing is you could hold her head down and make your gobble oh, um, And then the final one, it's really not that surprising when you consider his 
uh, following and his his uh, appeal to so many uh, types of people. Anthony Bourdain and Bobby Flay, and uh, Bourdain just you know owned it, man. Crushed it. He's Bourdain, our type of dude. He's our type of guy. And Anthony, if you're around, people want to fill you up and they want to seal you <laughs> shut, buddy. They want to fill your anus, your tight, taut anus with mm-hmm. semen from all over the world. So today, we'd like to present to you a couple <laughs> more. <laughs> um, Let's do, I want to do the black men. We haven't done black guy version for the ladies out there. So for the lady ladies, mommies. we picked a couple of real hotties that are going to really <laughs> appeal to you. Would you rather get filled <laughs> filled up and sealed shut by Samuel L. Jackson, <laughs> yeah. or or Morgan, Morgan Freeman. Freeman? Ding 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 ding. A lot of times people confuse them. <laughs> Sometimes uh, I've seen both in interviews say that they get approached by fans that think they're the other one. Really? That's yeah. that's silly. I don't confuse those two at all because Morgan Friedman has those shit freckles on his face. Babe, he's got Jesus. the freckles. Well, yeah, they don't look alike. First of all, they like don't. Like shit freckles. Yeah, they don't look alike at all. Um, Maybe they do. No, he's got Cosby freckles. Cosby's got the same thing. No, but uh, I think Morgan's also at least at least ten years older than Sam Jackson. Yeah, um, that's true. Morgan Freeman can't use his right hand anymore. Why? He was horribly damaged in a car accident. Oh, I didn't know that. Yeah. So uh. that that might play into who you want filling you up and sealing you <laughs> shut. <laughs> If there's one hand out of play, it's out of fucking on the sidelines. The bone collector? I I already know who I like more. Go ahead. I love I love Samuel L. Jackson. I was just watching him this weekend on some film. They're both tremendous actors. Let's let's be honest. They're both really good actors. Oh, for fuck sure, yeah. One of the the best. Um, Morgan Freeman is, is, (laughs) I think, absolutely (laughs) tremendous. Poitier. I think Sam Jackson's going to be, you know, somewhat, somewhat abusive. You know, he's going to say things that... Really good, bitch. Yeah, he's gonna call you a motherfucker and a oh, bitch yeah. a lot. But I, I don't mind that. I like that. No, there's nothing Sassy. wrong with it. There's nothing wrong with it. Um, Morgan would be too loving. Morgan's like he'll tell you a bedtime story and stuff. Yeah, he's gonna say he's gonna say things to you that are you're not expecting. What's um, he gonna say, Tom? Well, you know, he's gonna say I don't know. He's gonna say like you know. <laughs> uh huh. I ain't going out like that. So there's uh there's all kinds of stuff he's gonna say. I like <laughs> <laughs> Samuel Jackson is so much fun. Like, doesn't he look like he would be so fun? Yeah. To hang out with and drink. I mean, Morgan Freeman too would be interesting. Yeah. But Sam Jackson would say shit to you that would doesn't even make sense. That it's so funny, you know. I think uh, also like uh, he'll tell you some great stories, Sam Jackson. I think. Uh, that, that Sam Jackson also, I mean, you know, this might be inappropriate, but I, I think the guy knows what he's doing probably in the sack. You know? I think well, he's really... Well, but Morgan Freeman's got 10 years of fucking on I Sam. think, yeah, I think I think it's kind, it's almost like the, um, uh, the, the when we're talking about, like, Bobby Flay and Anthony Bourdain, it's almost oh, right. that type of thing where, like, you know, like, I, fig- I figure, like, Morgan Freeman is more... The kind of guy who's gonna be like, "It's your last rendezvous," you know, <laughs> like it's, or it's a little more, you know, <laughs> "It's your last rendezvous." It's it, like, but like that Sam Jackson is gonna be like, "This shit is big time." <laughs> like, it's a little more aggressive, you know. Right, right, right. Like, Real talk. It's definitely gonna be like, "Oh ass nigga." Yeah, yeah. Things that you're not. You're like, "Whoa, what's going on?" He's gonna be like, "This shit should be easy." This shit should be easy. And you're like, "Yeah, but it's tight." And he's like. You know, this shit should be easy. It's tight. Yeah, because <laughs> he, he's like, I can't get in there. And then you're like, Well, we can't do it then. And he's gonna be like, I ain't going out like that. Because <laughs> <laughs> he's gonna be like, I need to get my nut off. Yeah. And you're gonna be like, I'm sorry, it just hurts. And he's gonna be like, I ain't going out like that. And then Morgan right. Freeman is like, It's your last rendezvous. He's nicer. It's a little sweeter, you know. <laughs> Morgan Freeman, if you didn't, if you if you were too tight for him to fill you up or seal you shut. Would would just sit you on his lap and be like, "That's oh. all right, baby." Oh, if if you if you were like that to Morgan Freeman, he would just He's like a son to me, man. He would, you know, <laughs> <laughs> he'd be nice to you. But if Sam Jackson, uh, like let's say son. you're getting in Sam Jackson and yeah. you're like, "It just it, it's too much." Sam Jackson's gonna be like, "Crying motherfucker." Like that. 
<laughs> you know, like he's gonna cry, yeah. motherfucker. Yeah, so it's, it's totally two different types of guys. Two different energies. That's all, all I'm saying. Yeah. yeah. So two different vibes. Who do you want? Do you want to be filled up and and sealed shut by a, a, a guy who's really essentially he's just you know he's he's treating you basically like, like a son of me, man. Like, <laughs> <laughs> or do you want somebody who's just gonna be like fuck you? <laughs> <laughs> so it's like you're a son to me man or fuck you those are my two choices yeah do you want someone to be like oh ass nigga like, oh okay like that okay you're kind of it's aggressive okay. Okay. uh you know like you're okay. like, ah, but i i just i'm not into anal this shit should be easy <laughs> and you're like, ah, but i just i've never done it before like that this shit should be easy and then if you're like you know i think you should just go home and he's like because i ain't going out like that and you're like all right Day, I guess. <laughs> <laughs> That's so silly. That is so. Please let us know. Um, I didn't even tell you my answer. I think you. I think you did. What? Well, I th can I tell you who I think is? Who do you think I would prefer I think to have? You're definitely going to go with a man mm. who tells you this shit is big time, like that, and <laughs> <laughs> I think you're going with okay. him. Uh, with Sam Jackson. Interesting. Uh, my initial reaction was Sam. Yeah. But I don't know if I could take that kind of abuse. He's, like, he's definitely going to be. Yeah. Like he'll fucking hit you and stuff. Think about think about I'm Pulp Fiction. Really think that. about you know snakes on a plane. I, I'm I'm more loving and gentle with kisses. You know what I mean? I oh. I like I like romance and I like soft touches and you don't, kissy faces. You don't want him to be like, cry, motherfucker. No. Having sex? No, I don't want my dog bowl. Like, I don't need to be put in a dog bowl. <laughs> I would prefer to have Morgan Freeman. He's like a son of me, man. Wow. With his Cosby freckles. <laughs> and that one hand, that one hand doesn't work. That's okay. That one hand You got another does hand. does not work. Can I tell you that? I think Morgan's um, freckles are getting more pronounced. Sure. We saw that movie with him. He's getting older. That's what yeah, happens. is that yeah. what happens? You sure. just get more Cosby freckles. Well, you know, uh, they're not necessarily you're getting more Cosby freckles, but you know, when you get older, you, you your skin can kind of, you know. Why do they get Cosby freckles? Why, why shit starts to grow on you when you get old? You know, so gross. It's yeah. so awful getting. You old. just chose him. Well, I know because he's sweet. Uh. <laughs> yeah. Who would you choose? Oh, I like to party. So, Sam Jackson. Sam Jackson, yeah. Yeah, I want Sam Jackson to give me the business. <laughs> <laughs> but that would be your first anal experience. Yeah. That would be tough. But you don't mind him being like, this should this should be easy. <laughs> <laughs> him just verbally abusing me the entire yeah. fucking time. Your first time. Your first time making love. I know. And I'm to just a like, sweet, dude, I've never, I've never done this before. I would really appreciate it if you take it easy <laughs> on me. <laughs> Uh, just please, you know, be be a little more cool about Jim it. Cry, motherfucker. Uh, <laughs> like a tip, but I just can we get some lube? This shit should be easy. Yeah, that would be Sam Jackson. <laughs> can we throw two in la two ladies in there also to kind of make this? Yeah. Who know? do you got? Anybody? Uh, oh, by the way, I watched Queen Elizabeth last night. Elizabeth with Kate Blanchett, your girlfriend. Mm -hmm. You know you she's think? Australian. I don't remember what, what she's she is. She's Australian. Okay. Um, all right. Well, we did two androgynous broads before. Mm -hmm. Who's in your... Oh, I've got it. Why don't we do a pig challenge? A pig challenge. Let's do a couple of pigs. Okay. And it's the lesser of two pigs. Okay. 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 Precious is one of them. Jesus. What? All right. Let's make it interesting today. All right. All right. Now, the other one doesn't necessarily... <laughs> This music inspires. <laughs> Precious is a that's a that's a big girl. Okay. Who else uh, is in that wheelhouse? Who else? Cam is? Cameron Mannheim. What about that Della Reese? That lady? Who's that? Nell Carter. Nell Carter's dead. Oh. <laughs> You'd have to dig her up and seal her shut. <laughs> <laughs> that would be so hard. Oh. Dig her up, seal her. <laughs> Why shut. don't we do a series of dig her up, seal her shut with dead people? We definitely should. And you have to dig, you have to exhume the body Jesus. and fuck the body as is. Wow, that's serious. Right? Yeah. D and you give me up. shit about being fucking gross. God damn. <laughs> well, let's find somebody alive first. So it's Gabori yeah. Sibide. Right. It's either her. Mm -hmm. 
Or uh, how who's about a real pig? The lady from Mike and Molly. She's a pig. Yeah, she's a bit. She's pig. a big old girl. Okay. Okay, so that's uh. She's well, real funny though. I have respect for her. They're both she's great so, actresses. Yeah. They're both great. They're both. Super I hate talented. shitting on female co- comedians though, because it's like they're exempt from from having to be hot. No, they, I know, but that's the that's. Okay, the game. all right. I'm that's sorry, ladies. Okay, let's do Gabori Sibide, Precious. Look, Gabori Sibide is really talented. I know. She really is. So I know. This is this is the big girl challenge, or as you put it, as a nice lady, the pig challenge. <laughs> <laughs> uh, listen, I know how our listeners talk. I know. I think. So, would you rather fill up and seal shut Gabori Sibide, Precious, or Precious, or Melissa, Melissa McCarthy? Who uh, was in um, Bridesmaids and, and, Mike is, is, and, Molly. and she's Molly from Mike and Molly. <laughs> both very funny. Both big girls. What's your style? What are you into? Personally, I I I think that Gabori will put it on you. Okay. All right. I I think she will polish off your cock like it is a fucking chicken wing. Like I think wow. she will literally try to get the meat to come off the end of the, <laughs> of the stick. I really do. And I think she, I also find, I I, uh, I think she might be insatiable. Really? I think she might be insatiable. An insatiable bottom. Mm-hmm. I and think what do you she, think Molly's more? I think Molly's a little more tender and loving. Like, oh, yeah. it's got this ice cream. Let's eat this. <laughs> yeah, you'd hang out with her more and, and you'd have a fat girl night with her. Yeah, oh, totally. Brownies I would and love like, to hang out with her. I would yeah. like to hang out with either one. But I'm saying like, if if I'm hanging out with Gabor, I think she'd be like, what's up with that dick? Like, <laughs> <laughs> um, I think you're. I think you might be onto something here. But but wait a minute. Wait a minute. We're yeah. forgetting. Sometimes, because that that's also the stereotype of black women that they're sexually insatiable. It is a very. It's a stereotype. It's stereotype. It could be the quiet type, the one you think is just oh, just of a course subtle it could be. I'm just giving meow. my. I'm my, just kind of meowing. This is just my thought on it okay I, I could be i'm gonna go wrong. with molly because i think molly has had a lifetime of guys who just want to hang out with her and eat brownies and she's oh. got pent up sexual energy that she needs to give well this is a perfect one to ask the listeners what do you think <laughs> do you think that molly mm-hmm. just hangs out and is like oh, how about she you needs rub my to get shoulders? laid or do yeah. you think gabori is like oh, blah, 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 blah. like give me Damn. that fucking cock you little bit yeah so, that's a great one to throw out there. What do you guys think? I'm sure one of you lovely people will go to facebook.com slash your mom's house podcast. Let's vote. I like it when you vote more in the poll. The poll's easier for us to read. Than the it's comments so under the... like. I love the images that you make. It's my but favorite. But let's just stick to the polls to read the results. The images make me laugh. They're hilarious. Can I tell you that our tweets from our fault are the funniest? Yeah, you guys are Some, really fucking funny, When man. I'm bummed, I'll look at our, our Twitter account and yeah. just laugh my tits off. The uh, the bear thing is really taken oh, off. So, thank you, guys. Oh, yeah. Why don't we talk about this? Thank you so much for those. I fucking love the bear stuff you motherfuckers it is it's been it's endless really entertainment funny. for us i gotta tell you I'm it is really really, really especially funny. when i'm like it sitting is. in a hotel room taking a dump and i'll yeah. go on my my twitter account when i'm shitting yeah and just look at them to me the oh, the, best. the best the best of those is God. that like after the initial one i thought i kind of had seen them all no. and i'm like yeah no but i mean like i thought i'd seen all right, the right. ideas of it and i'm like yeah <laughs> and then like <laughs> I'll still get tagged in them, and I'll be like, "What's this?" And I'll be like, "That's, that's funny." Now it's like, it's a second wave. It's a second wave, but they're coming up with more creative ways yeah. to say like that what I'm doing. You know, like oh, <laughs> yeah. looks like you know. Our honeymoon one was today. That somebody, was pretty funny. somebody, yeah, I saw that one. Someone said, uh, Tom, "Tom and Bert are taking a bath, no splashies, and there's two bears like in the water. It's pretty so funny. Silly. Yeah, it's really funny. You so guys, much you guys are silly. hilarious. Um, silliness." Uh, we shipped out a bunch of stuff. I wanted to throw that out to you. If you ordered the highest, tightest jeans bundle. <laughs> that's our new. That's our new. <laughs> which replaced the Super Mommy pack. Highest, tightest. The highest, tightest jeans bundle includes my album, Thrilled, Christina's album, It's Hard Being a Person, Christina's poster, and the Kingfish shirt. You get it all. Um, and those, uh, we shipped out a bunch last week. We ship out a bunch more tomorrow. Thank you for ordering those. Thank you for ordering. I dropped my cookie. Oh, shit. You ordered a a fuckload of Kingfish shirts. 
uh, which is awesome. And I didn't even tell you this. I mm, had mommy. to reorder again. Get out already. I had to reorder them again. That's awesome. You guys, the one, now I will tell you this. I'm not telling you what it is. The Kingfish one is obviously based on a riff. There's a new one that's being designed that's going to be the official shirt of the podcast. It's going to blow your mind up. It's the fucking dopest it's shit I've ever seen. It's the raddest thing ever. Yeah. So I can't wait. We're holding on, we're holding on for that uh, for a little while, but... It is the coolest fucking thing I've ever seen. Uh, and I, I'm so excited to, um, to have it. I have a feeling when this shirt lands, yeah, it's going to send ripples through yes. the mommy community. It's absolutely. There's it's, not going to be. There's not going to be <laughs> a mommy alive that doesn't have one. That's nope. how fucking top notch it is. Nope. Uh, everyone who has their jeans high is going to want to rock this tight shirt. Absolutely. It's fucking awesome. I it's think other level <laughs> stuff. <laughs> other. Level stuff. Um, Mommy. So thank you. Thank and thank you for your support. Obviously, when you do stuff like that, uh, when you order that stuff, it supports the show. Yes. It helps us um, you know, take care of our, our business, yo. So thank you. And and I love uh when you send me a picture of you wearing your Kingfish shirt. That is an automatic retweet, yo. <laughs> so definitely keep sending me the, the photos of you. And your kingfish. And shirt. keep sending Tommy is a bear because I will retweet most of them. Like, Jeez, you do retweet. If I see them, them, yeah. Like you sometimes I miss those. them. You retweet a lot of them. I those. fucking love that. Uh oh. Meow, 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 meow. You know what time it is, guys. Oh shit. Okay. Yes, yes, yes. What? I, I just remembered something. I just remembered you something. scared me. It's okay. By the way, we had a listener come up to me. Yeah. A mommy in Denver. Oh, it was a couple, and she's like, my husband does the same thing that Tommy does, where when he reacts to something, it's a big reaction, and mm. I freak out. Like, just now, you're like, oh, my God. What? Yeah, but you're you're <laughs> overreacting. You're doing a, a much bigger impression of my reaction. Here's what you just did. You went, oh, my God. No. Oh, God. Oh, oh. Ah. That's what it felt like to me. But see, that says more about you than me, <laughs> because that's not at all what came out of my I mouth. Know. I know. I'm sensitive. Right, but what I'm saying is that I'm even sensitive. though that was a gross exaggeration, you do react sometimes as if that's what I'm doing. Like, I'll be like, oh, yeah. And you're like, what? What is it? What? And I'm like, nothing, man. I just said, like, oh, yeah. Like, just fucking, what is it? Because I'm very sensitive but to I'm your not, needs. But I'm not, I'm saying I'm not, that wasn't like a huge thing that I did, but you're still acting like that it was a uh, holy shit. It puts me on high alert. Because you're emotional. Tommy, it's your Latin flavors coming out. Ew, I they can hear you drinking. You sound like a dog drinking out of the bowl. Can you guys hear that? Ugh. He's drinking out of a bottle. A bottle. Get over it. Ugh. Get the fuck over okay, it. Okay, are you ready to do this? No. Go ahead. <laughs> so first of all, I just wanted to recap interesting findings, Tommy. Yeah. Um, from our last Would You Rather that we did with Rory, which we were all, all horrified. I would say one of the most horrifying Would You Rathers in the history of Would You Rather. Yeah, and um, yeah, that was that was definitely up it there. Was, that was a horrifier. It was, would you rather get a hand job from your mother or jerk off your father? And a resounding 36 to 6 votes in favor of getting a hand job from your mother. That really surprised me. Me too. Really surprised me. What do you think the thinking is um, here? And by the way, it's it's up to they added another one, thirty seven now. Yikes. Um, Yikes. My thinking here is Why? that people just hate their dads, oh. and um, maybe they can. Uh, they, they find it. Maybe it's the whole. It's being done. Well, it's being done to them. First of all, you're not the one doing the, right. the action, and I guess maybe the mother thing is is more tolerable to the men because of like there's something more nurturing about a mother you know well you know what when you think about it your mom changed your die die from right. the time you were born yeah your mother's seen and probably touched your weenus a million times when you're an infant and let's be honest your mom you know outside of the fact that she's your mom your mom knows what to do with a dick okay babe i'm just saying like your <sighs> mom if you're out there like i'm thinking of your mom your mom knows what to do with a dick because it's you know she's just another lady she's she's fucking Jerked she's off jerking and, off so many cocks. She's jerked off a bunch of dicks. Some of your moms are single, <laughs> and they fucking blow sure. and suck and fuck guys all the time. So it's not like she's going to be like, I don't know what to do with this. It's just weird because of your relationship to her. 
And I think jerking off your dad's tough if you're a guy because that's jerking off another guy. Right. Even if it's your dad, it's a homoerotic sort Definitely. Of thing, but maybe. I want to give a big shout out to the six guys that voted that way <laughs> because uh, I'm still with you. I'm still jerking off my dad. Uh, I'd rather because put, put the onus on him to come. You know what I'm saying? Instead yeah. of put it on you. What if come. like well, what so if in this weird. scenario though that your dad's like, come on, and starts talking to you? <laughs> <laughs> He's like, You jerk put that some cock fucking elbow grease into it, man. <laughs> what are you doing at all? I don't like that loose grip. And you're like, All right. Uh. <laughs> He's, so like, He's like, play with my ass, play with my ass. And you're like, Dad, oh, Dad, I can't do this, Dad. And he's like, What? Don't forget my balls. Yeah. You like a tug on them. I like the little little tug there, it's nice. <laughs> That's we'll the way just, your mother we'll just does sit it. on my face real quick. Oh, like, Jesus Christ. Spit my face. All right, enough. Okay, so okay. here's a would you rather I came up with. Uh, this actually came up with Michael Malone this week because he does this bit where he talks in black voice like a black man. Yeah. And he's like the nerdiest looking white guy. He's not a nerdy look, but he's like a white guy. Mm-hmm. Who just talk like a jive, like he does a jive turkey voice? A jive turkey, you know, voice. like a '70s black guy. Like, okay. what it do, my man? What a, Is he good at it? Come good on, voice? jive turkey. Like, yeah. Th- yeah, he's great at it. It's really funny. Okay. So, would you rather look the way you do, <laughs> but not like that? It's a '70s guy. Like, oh shit, she ain't lose blood. Check bone rebound with your meta side. Okay. Like that kind of t- jive turkey talk. Okay. Um, or. <laughs> Every time you speak, you sound like you're the impression that you do of your sister. Like, ah, yeah. <laughs> Sounds like ours. <laughs> I'm not. I don't talk like that. <laughs> you guys, no. <laughs> I don't talk like that. I have to take my son out. Hi, guys. Hi, guys. Hi, guys. What do you guys want to do like that? <laughs> Are you guys having drinks? Yeah. I've only had like four drinks, so stop <laughs> over-exaggerating. <laughs> I just went exercising. I ran. I ran like five miles, and then I, I swam. But I did channel. I? I ran. I swam. I did a bike ride. <laughs> I'm frustrated. I want to do something. I have so much energy. <laughs> <laughs> so you either are like so that's that. Your voice. Yeah. That's your voice forever. Ever. Like if we're doing the podcast right now, you do it as your sister's voice, or in Shang Lula, what it is, but but now, and you're that's. 70s black guy. To me, 70s black that guy. is fucking signed, sealed, and delivered the easiest one ever. Come on. Easy. But people, you can't explain it. Sorry, that's the other caveat. If you're talking like a, a black guy from the 70s, yeah. you cannot explain to people why you're talking like a guy from the 70s. A I understand 70s. that. But I'm saying, for, for me, the, <laughs> the idea of it's one or the other, it is... So easily going to be like, hey now, come on, talk to me for a second now. And then people are like, that guy talks like a fucking <laughs> black guy from the 70s. They'll be like, that's what it is, is what it is, whatever it is. I'll just talk like that versus like, I sound like, sound like, ah, I'm going to party right now. Like, I could not, I couldn't you know, go fucking five minutes through life. You know like what's that. funny though? When you do your sister, you kind of remind me of Bob, Bobcat Goldwaite from the, the 80s comic that would do like, Loud! That's a little more Cosby. That's very Cosby. <laughs> now, what if I talked like a 70s black guy? Yo, Shang Lu, blah, what it is, the bow. Or do do the Marie impression. Shut up, Tommy. I go for coffee. I need coffee. I no energy. Uh, See which one's weirder. Yeah. And harder for me to get through life. Like you have to be employed. You could get you have through to have life friends. with friends, right? With the girl, but maybe you'd be more of like a, a commodity. Uh, of like, you gotta see this. There's this blonde white <laughs> chick who's like, it is what it is, and your mama better not forget about it, <laughs> or whatever. That shit versus you're like ah, because like there's a million girls who are like that. Everyone's like, shut the fuck up. You yeah, know? it's the worst, man. Yeah. So maybe I should start doing a, a 70s black man on stage. Steal, yeah. steal Michael Malone's bit and make that my entire act. Yeah. What do you say? What well, it is, my blood shining. Let, let us know. Which, uh, <laughs> Turkey jerky. Would you rather talk like a, a 70s black man or like Tom's <laughs> sister? Has like, ah, ta, ta. <laughs> is ah. there a famous person that we ah. can uh, refer to that talks like yeah, that? Yeah, there is a girl from the Saturday Night Live sketch from the... Uh, Late '80s, where she's like Delta, 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 kind of help you, how the hell? Oh right, it's that. It's the it's Delta, 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 like Delta voice, kind of. Yeah. yeah, kind of. Yeah, a little bit like that. Ra, yeah, ah, uh, uh. yeah, yeah, you're right. Okay. So, okay. okay, is there another one? 
Yep. You just <laughs> farted or something? No, I was just reading this, and I can't believe I wrote this down. It's so You know when you write something, and you're like, did I just fucking really think those dumb thoughts? Oh, yeah, I, I have that all the time. And now I'm going to say those dumb fucking thoughts out loud. Yeah. And it's going to be on the internet forever. So here it goes. Okay, you know that you and I are huge fans of farting in public right mm -hmm, now. Mm -hmm. For instance, I was on the airport shuttle yesterday yeah. in Colorado, and I farted. I just let it go willy-nilly. It stunk up the entire shuttle bus. I don't give a fuck, because I have yeah. my earbuds on. It looks like I couldn't possibly have done that. Yeah, you can't fart with things in your ears. Uh, right. You can't fart with something yeah, in your ears. You can't fart if you're listening to your iTunes. Uh, black guy was listening to music. I didn't fart. <laughs> okay, would you rather, every time you fart, which you and I do... A lot. Mm -hmm. The fart, instead of making no sound or the normal sound, the fart screams, Hey faggots, I farted! Okay. It has to sound like that. Hey faggots, I farted! It and always that comes says, out of your butt. Hey faggots, I right. farted. So okay. it's, it's insulting to the gay community. And really, really demeaning, yeah. Well, yeah, but you know what? Yeah. That's what it is. That's okay? what it this is, is, man. This is what came to me in my vision when I wrote this. Yeah. Okay. Uh, and it screams it. So at your asshole screams, Hey, faggots, I farted! I also like that you, you earlier in the show, pointed out not to say that something's yes. gay. You're yes. like, that's so gay. You're that's like, why I'm doing This is for Todd Glass. Okay. This is for him. Okay. No, I'm just kidding. It's not for oh, him. Oh, okay. You know what I'm saying. But we, we recognize that it's not politically correct to say this. Right. Either, e either expression. No, it's like terrible. It's, it's horrible to say that's gay. Because Terrible. that's it, it's it's demeaning to the gay. It is, but it's also I, I'm gonna say I'm gonna go out on a limb and think it's say it's demeaning to also say, "Hey, faggots, I farted." Right, right. Which is why. Okay. Which is why it makes it a daunting. Would you rather? Sure. It's not a nice thing to have come out of your butthole. Right. Okay. I get you. Uh, that or every time that you burp, mm -hmm. a homeless person dies. Holy shit! So basically, what you're dealing with is is the guilt of knowing that something that you did and. Now, can you can you do like a can you keep your mouth shut and burp? No, every time you burp, a homeless person well, dies. Well, that means, but that's involuntary. Right. Too bad. So you either are killing people all the time, <laughs> or you're you're really getting a lot of negative attention. You might get actually killed yourself if you fart in the wrong spot, right? Because you're gonna fart and your ass is gonna go, "Hey, faggots!" It's your ass that does it. Yeah, your, your butt ass says screams. it. Screams that. Phrase, hey, which faggots, is hateful I farted. and terrible. Yeah, it's a hateful phrase. Even if you think you're do other sneaky. people's asses in this world also say things? No, just yours. Just yours. Just yours. Wow. And the thing is, you think you're sneaking out a quiet riot. You're yeah. not. It's, your butthole is screaming really this loud. Phrase. Now, do you think there's a chance though that because sometimes people are going to be looking at you, you know, they're going to hear it. Yeah. They're going to see that you didn't say it. Doesn't they're going to be like, "What? Well, what the fuck was that?" And you're going to be like, "I don't, I don't know." <laughs> Somebody just screamed some crazy shit, man. I don't know where it Doesn't was. Doesn't matter. Yeah, you don't You don't have to fess up to own up right, to it. Right, you don't have to own up to it, but I'm just saying they're going to be like, who is that? And you're going to be like, nah, oh. But, it, <laughs> but it'll cripple your relationships I or think your the, friendships or your... I think so, but I think the only way you could choose the burping one would be if you want to kill homeless people. Because that's really... I guess. Like, the, the downside of that one is murder, is you're killing people. The downside... Yeah, but they're homeless. That's, that's true. Thing, I didn't that think about that. Nobody really wants like the, them. Like the ones, yeah, like the ones in our neighborhood, the crazy yeah, guys. Yeah. They're already. They have no family. Nobody right. gives a shit. So for they're them. dead. Big deal. I get. I get your logic. Um, <laughs> uh, I I would choose personally. I'm choosing. Hey faggots! I farted farts. <laughs> I'm choosing. First of all, I want to hear. A voice coming out of my ass. I, loud. But, now, it's now, loud. <laughs> here's the best thing I just realized. <laughs> is that when you go to take a shit and you're farting multiple <laughs> times, you, all people will hear from a bathroom is just, Hey, faggots, I farted. Hey, faggots, I farted. Hey, faggots. And they're going to be like, I heard you, man. Like, knock it off. Like, like <laughs> you keep yelling that shit and it's not cool. And people are going to be like, you know, every time he takes a shit, he says this like 60 times. <laughs> It's loud, like the like so, the neighbors can hear it. I'll take it just for the for the laughs, because there's going to be too many laughs. It's so funny. Yes, I'm taking the <laughs> hey faggots, I fart. What are you taking? Um, obviously, I don't devalue human life so much that I could kill even homeless. Sounds people. like you were building up to it. What if it's gypsies? What if we kill Burp, gypsies? I would <laughs> I would drink six cokes a day on the hour, every hour. I would drink two cases of coke a day. 
Just so I could burp more. <laughs> just to kill gypsies? Get rid of fucking all American of them. ones or European gypsies? Every single continent. <laughs> no gypsies. Antarctic gypsies are gone. Okay. All right. Yeah. Wow. That's a bold statement. Nah, I don't fucking, I don't, I don't give know. a shit about it. But no, it's not I, gypsies. It's not gypsies. What gy- is it? It, you, it's we, homeless people. Yeah, you already made it. It's homeless people. Um, I have empathy for the homeless, so I'm going to... I'm too. curious to see how many people <laughs> would like to end the lives of the homeless by burping well, versus having an asshole that says, hey, faggots, I farted. I will say... <laughs> 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 I will say, a lot of people hate homeless people. I have family members yeah. that are like, these fucking homeless, they're so lazy. And like they that's, don't understand that that's it's irrational. not necessarily lazy. If you really feel that way, yeah. Just, you're crazy. You or, need to take that, that sentiment, that feeling, if you have that, yeah, and stupid. channel it towards the gypsies. Because <laughs> they're the real bad ones. Redirect it towards gypsies, you guys. Take yeah. all that hatred. Those homeless, it's not their fault, man. It's not usually. It's not. It, it, don't don't. It's be like Reagan. That. Reagan deinstitutionalized all the the crazy. Hey, it's Reagan, everybody. Put them out into the I street. I saw Reagan's home. <laughs> what a do, shabba do. It's a mess, of motherfucking Reagan. Wow, well, I got to talk about everything else. I could right. watch you do your sister's voice all day, though. Um, it's so annoying. Ah! It's annoying. And she doesn't think she talks like that. She's always like, Tommy, I don't talk like that. That's the best part. Every like time you do an impression ah. to her, she's just like, I don't ah. talk like that. Ah. Ah. She'll say it in the same yeah. <laughs> voice that you're doing the impression under. You'll be like, you talk like that. And she's like, I don't talk like that. All right, we got to get out of here. You oh, guys okay. are... Um, are are always our favorite mommies. The favorite mommies of the world. Come see me in Louisville, uh, and then San Diego and New York, and of course our live show May twenty third. Come out. Um, Jeans, where are you again? I'm gonna be in Brea at the end of the month, at the end of in May. Mm, okay, up. Oh, it's fucking six you gypsies. Just... <laughs> they just died. I'm so happy that I killed them. You just them. committed genocide with that burp. <laughs> oh my god. And then. Um, yeah, we'll work on this uh, Ustream fucking Sorry, guys. Shit. It'll be resolved. Uh, and then, what else? What else? I don't know. Go there to our sponsors. Else. Oh, yeah. Our sponsors. Thank out. you again. Thanks for Amazon. Thank you, Gamefly. Uh, please go to your mom's house podcast.com and keep uh, that going on. Please go to the Facebook page, facebook.com slash your mom's house podcast. Like it and then get involved. It's basically, it's a forum. It's, a, it's where we yes. can interact with you you know we do the the voting people just post pictures is and this yours it's great yeah i got it uh for free there was like a giveaway oh. they were they were giving it I away i never see you use lip balm and that's why i didn't my lip it. balm it's unused um lip balm. so that's that uh yeah. you should never use anybody else's lip balm that's what my should, third grade teacher told me you should never use mrs anybody borchard else's lip balm. Yo, she said man, i don't think they heard you, okay. you what your name is. Oh, i'm just getting out of here i like that my name is Easy, yeah, this is so we'll see you guys soon. Bye, mommies. Thanks for listening. We love you. Bye, bye. Love you, mommy. Quiet on the seconds I'm about to begin. And if you didn't hear me, boy, I tell you again. My name is Easy. Or just call me E. But it doesn't really matter to me. Cause